Welcome back to another video. It's your man Zell. And look, man, I appreciate you guys for supporting me, showing me that love, man. I need you guys to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. You know what I'm saying? And in this video, I'm going to give you guys my favorite top five stock Studio One plugins. So these are going to be basically for vocals and for beats. So these work for both. So um, if you guys are wondering, like, what are these for? Just know that these plugins can work for both. Now, um, if you guys don't know the difference between stock plugins and third party plugins, the stock plugins is what comes inside of Studio One. And the third party plugins, you guys got to buy it and you guys can like install it. Um, into studio one and i believe you have to have studio one five artists or more um higher uh professional or you can have like studio one three professional studio one four professional all the professionals work but only artist that works is studio one five so i just wanted you guys to know that um because not all the software is compatible um another thing if you guys don't know what plugins and effects are they're they're the things that mix your vocals so you ever heard that term mix mix people are using these effects and so I'm gonna give you guys my favorite top five, all right? So without further ado, these are not in any order. Um, I'm just gonna give it to you how I use it. And like, if I was going to use stock, what I have to use, all right? Number one, which is not number one, but compressor. I'm gonna just drag and drop it right there, release. This right here, you gotta have it. This goes for instruments and vocals. As you can see, vocals right here, um, you can pick a preset and then you can like tweak and adjust your liking or just start straight from here. Um, also for drums, instruments, miscellaneous, guitar, you know what I mean? So um, definitely you can sidechain. I believe with all these plugins now in Studio One Five, um, you can sidechain. So that's that's crazy, but I could be wrong. You know what I mean? But I think I've seen that just about on every one. Next one we got, we got the uh, da 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 the pro eq like this is the eq right here you you don't have this like what are you doing right what are you doing this is again for vo uh, both vocals and drums as you can see i use this for when i use my stock i use uh pro eq for for everything man you'll see it all over my sessions again you can side chain if you guys don't know what side chaining is you guys can uh match vocals or uh, levels volumes so you don't overpower the next thing is the room reverb so that's number three we on number three this is a reverb all right so um you can sound like you're in a church you can sound like you're in a club you're in a hall you just click one of these presets and you can adjust adjust the mix adjust the size and this goes for everything like you want to use reverb for instruments and vocals um it says number um, three. Let's go up to analog delay. You got to have a delay. So again, this delay will work for um, this. I just set the time, keep it on sync because it's in sync with the uh, tempo. Um, you can adjust the color of it. The um, motor, as you can see, um, the uh, dry wetness, which is the mix. Yeah, I mean, you know, the feedback. Yeah, so this right here is my definitely my go-to for uh, Studio One stock delay. It's, it sounds so great. And last but not least, um, man, this was hard. I ain't gonna lie, this was hard. But I know I'm unable to uh, make a, a, a beat or a um, song without it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say Tricom. Tricomp is another compressor. A lot of times people use Fat Channel, um, and that's fine, or Channel Strip, and that's fine. The reason why I can't go without Tricomp is because it's it's built like not only a compressor, but it's built sort of like a, um, a EQ sort of too, so, sort of like it, it's 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 crazy, um, but it's more a better compressor. Honestly, you can have the Tricomp and no compressor and be and be good, but having both of them man especially when you have a bus track it it really it really helps you know what i mean so you know what i mean as a bonus the last one is melodyne you know what i mean um that's a plug-in for vocals you would actually have to have an audio right here not midi file an audio file and you'd have to like right click it and make sure your melodyne is activated through studio one make sure you have the full version so um that's why i leave it as a bonus because you're not gonna um like you're not gonna be uh, able to use it if you don't have professional and so and it's not for beats and vocals so 
I mean, you can, but you know, um, it's mainly for vocals. So those are my, my top five right there. You, I, I can't go without them. Now, um, that being said, you definitely want to use more than just these uh, five, you know, but like the compressor to EQ, um, <clears throat> room reverb, analog delay, and tri-comp. Like you definitely want to use those, but I'm gonna go through some of these other ones for you in another video. And uh, man, I appreciate you guys for watching. Man, if you guys want more content, all you got to do is just like this video, subscribe. Um, another thing, I'm doing one-on-ones and uh, I want you guys to, you know, get in on this. Uh, check the link in the description. You guys can go to my website, book a one-on-one -on -one with me, Studio One. If you guys need help with anything, doing Zoom calls, um, they're paid now. Um, and I'm charging a dollar a minute, you know what I mean? So you can schedule an appointment, book an appointment on my calendar. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, on my calendar. And, um, you know, go ahead and get one-on-one -on -one with me. And uh, I'll help you guys out with any issues you guys are having. So, uh, man, appreciate it. Subscribe to this. And, uh, man, see you in the next video.